Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to graph uh, the function f of x equals log base 2 of x plus 3. So to graph this, the main important thing we need to know is what our parent graph looks like for a logarithmic function. So here's the graph of logarithmic function, f of x equals log base a of x. Um, and the one thing to notice about logarithms, their graphs um, without any transformations, doesn't depend on the base, is always going to cross at 1 comma 0. And why is it the parent graph crosses at 1 comma 0? Well, remember what a logarithm states. It's saying a to our f of x equals x. If I was going to transfer it to exponential form, and what that's saying is, remember, what is an x-intercept? X-intercept is when our, or our y equals 0, right? Our y value is equal to 0. So if f of x equals 0, a to the 0 equals x. So it doesn't matter what my base is. a could be 5, a could be 10, a could be e, a could be anything. You cannot have, I don't, you cannot raise a number to 0 and not get 1. So therefore, any number that you raise to 0 is always going to get 1. So therefore, my parent graph is now equal, or my parent graph crosses at 1 comma 0. So if I look at this graph, what I have is, if I say it's going to be 2 raised to the 0 equals x plus 3. So really, what I um, essentially have here is, you know, 2 to the 0 equals um, x plus 3. So if I want to ask, what is going to be my new y-intercept? Well, 2 to the 0 is 1 equals x plus 3. Then I subtract 3, therefore I get negative 2 equals x, which tells me my new x-intercept is now at negative 2. So I'll go over 1, 1, 2. And the other way you can kind of look at that is a lot of people will say, well, you could also look at this as a transformation of the graph. Where you could write f of x equals log of a x minus h plus k, where h is going to tell you the horizontal shift left or right. Well, since I'm adding 3, that also tells me to shift my graph 3 units to the left. So therefore, I'll shift it 1, 2, 3 units to the left, and that's how you graph that function.